good morning and hello welcome back to curated by chelsea if you've been here before and welcome if you are new here i am chelsea <laughs> I am back on here looking kind of crusty, dusty, just a little bit. My skin is clearing up. Like I've been doing, I've been doing it. I've been babying my skin. Um, I have taken a bit of a break just cause I was not getting burnt out, but I just knew that I needed to kind of chill on filming, then editing, filming, then editing so that I don't get burnt out. So I kind of just took like a small little four day break and now I'm back to filming. But this time I do have content I actually do want to show. And I am prepping for my trip to California. So to me, going to LA, California in general, um, is not a big deal because I'm from California. Pretty much all my family is there. So it's not that big of a deal. I will say I have not been there since 2019. What is that, five years? Yeah, so it is due, it's time to go. Um, I do, kind of want to get in the habit of going back more often maybe not every year but maybe every other year but we'll see but I'm prepping for my trip I told you guys in a long video if you've even been here that long but I am speaking at Altitude Summit in Palm Springs and by the time this video even goes up I'll be back already that's the only reason I'm sharing does my hair look weird hold on let's see <laughs> I have a lot to do to prep. I gotta do my nails, I need to do my toes, my hair. And with my hair, I'm doing purple, purple braids. I have to wax my legs, just really my legs. That's really all I ever wax. And then just, you know, all the little stuff and then obviously pack. I wanna spend this week just kind of packing a little bit, getting my outfits together, kind of figuring out what I'm gonna wear on each day and all that. I still am trying to order more clothes though because um, I got invited to a dinner while I'm there by a brand and I was like, oh, so you know, I need to come up with an outfit now. So I do have an outfit in mind. It's black, of course, because that's what this video is gonna be about me prepping for my trip to California. I think it's gonna be really cool. Maybe just like a little stressful, but I really like doing stuff like this, the prepping for the trip. I honestly think that's the best part because once I get to the airport I'm just kind of like <laughs> yeah. let's get this started I'm gonna start with hair and today I'm just going to twist it and make my parts so that I have really pretty parts and then I'm just gonna wear my twist for a day or two probably just a day I apologize for the lighting in here I'm in my little office and ugh. Anyway, um, bef I'm not going to do my hair yet. I'm actually going to finish editing this video, then do my nails because I don't want my hair going underneath the nail because it is like lifting a little bit on some of these. And the focus on this is so trash sometimes. You can see they've grown out just a little bit, but like they're definitely lifting. After I finish editing this video, I'm going to export it. While it's exporting, I'm going to play a little bit of my supermarket simulator game. And then I'm going to drill these off, then make bread then do my hair i'm not going to the gym today so i don't have like a time crunch thing going on today color is all drilled off the hardest part is getting the actual tips off I tried to drill down like as much as I could without actually hitting my actual nail I'm gonna use that gel remover before I use acetone let's do it why is there a hair under this one when I was doing it I didn't see a hair so I'm confused nails they look a little crazy I will say I was not expecting them to be my nails to still be intact like this they are a little bit bendy but I am gonna cut them anyway I don't need for them to be long but I am going to clean them up and buff probably cut them down apply some nail strengthener and oil and go on about my day 
I will say if you do want to do gel X and you want to remove your nails and then apply don't do it on the same day I promise you you're gonna be sitting there forever and you're gonna by the time you get to like the nail painting of the new gel X you're just gonna be like okay so just remove one day and then come back later or like let some time pass by and then come back and do the application because I swear like it just feels so long <laughs> my nails look kind of good other than the scraping from the buffer but they look pretty good to me I have a feeling this video is going to be pretty long compared to my other videos I'm thinking probably 30 minutes maybe even 40 so <sighs> get a snack sorry for the spooky lighting but um i started my hair kind of late <laughs> and this is about how small i want to go with my hair um so i'm thinking very like small to medium braids but of course i have a lot of hair and it is taking forever to do this but again i started pretty late i got really tired after i ate I was chilling then i went back on my computer and played some supermarket simulator I did kind of a lot earlier in the day, so that's kind of why I did kind of crash. So I'll probably finish this in the morning. Um, I'm trying to get to the my middle part just so that I can then get ready for bed. I'm going to try to get to this middle portion and then call it a night. <sighs> ah, okay, my order of Fashion Nova clothes just came in for this trip. Um, it's mostly just basics and you'll see what I kind of have come up with. I have an inspo board. I'm going to put it right here. Um, I put this in my Mila note and these are just some of the looks that I really, really wanted. I just, yeah, I don't know. Like I'm so excited about this. Normally I do not even shop on Fashion Nova, but I really just needed multiple things. So yeah, I ended up shopping for fashion on Fashion Nova. I will say a lot of these are very thin, but that's to be expected for freaking fashion over i got these linen pants i love linen especially because it's going to be kind of hot right now it's looking very mild but there's still a lot of time for that to change this white button down very basic but i'm only gonna wear this as like kind of like a uh a, a, like a kimono then i got this t-shirt dress i love t-shirt dresses and i don't know why i ever stopped wearing them because I look really good in them. This would be good for like one of the nights that we're just like walking around. <sighs> and then this halter top. I kind of like wanted to see how this would look. It is very, very thin, so I may not be able to wear it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's supposed to be more of like a bralette top, but I think I can make this work. It's actually not that thin. And I have pasties. I love these. I love these. These are some of the best. These flatter everybody. I love the way that this fits. I think these are very casual yet sexy and they go really well with like any kind of outfit. For that t-shirt dress or anything else I like might buy while I'm there, um, I got these seamless shorts to wear under my dresses so that if I do have a little oopsie, you won't see nothing. <laughs> this is the first look which I think is so cute. <sighs> You'll see a full length right here. So cute, I need to shave, but don't mind that. This is see-through. I feel like I could do a pasties, but I don't know. I feel like you'll be able to see the pasties. It's so see-through. It definitely needs a liner. So this one is up in the air for sure. Okay, same type of outfit. I really do like this top better obviously I can wear pasties with this because you can't even see the color of this bra at least I can't right now so I'm definitely probably gonna go for this top over that halter top even though the halter is so cute and so flattering um here's what the oh the back looks crazy okay here's what the back looks like it's like a racer back thing going on I think it's very cute here's this top I think very flattering probably one of my favorite types of 
tops i need more of these and this is really good quality so i'm kind of here for that um here's the back kind of a racer back as well i kind of wish it was a little more cut right here but i'm okay with this i didn't show these shorts but these are from h&m and h&m has lemon blend shorts and pants and i love this these are so so cute like oh my goodness and yeah i really like these really like linen in general linen is the goat just to be clear i'm not i did not just buy this stuff just for this trip i also bought it to have for the warmer warmer months so keep that in mind here is the button down and i don't think button downs are very flattering on me but i think they make really good little jackets like this and i can even kind of do this type of thing where it kind of scrunched it's almost like a blazer in a way i would pretty much just be out here like this and i think this looks but let me double check in the mirror <laughs> keep pressing record and it doesn't record it's so weird so here is the t-shirt dress like i said i look good in these and the legs are they go for days look at that pointed toe look at that yeah the shorts are underneath they're fitting a little weird i think they might be on backwards <laughs> and it has pockets it's weird fashion nova has things that have pockets that you wouldn't expect them to but cool i guess i know you were thinking where's the color in these kimonos i have i got two of these off of amazon I'll probably end up wearing these over most of my outfits um also these pants are from h&m these are also linen i love kimonos during the warm weather months so they, they really come in handy and they really make or break an outfit you saw me put that belt away but i could also do this here's the other one i think i like this one better like this is cute very very cute and it does go pretty far down so it's pretty long so here's where my color is i'm not going to try these on but i did also get i did also get these blue shorts from american eagle they fit perfectly love that for me i feel like you always have to have a pair of blue shorts and then i also got some blue jeans we will be in la also and i do want to have an outfit for LA. LA's temperatures are a little bit more cooler I feel like. Fingers crossed I'm hoping the weather doesn't change too much. I play everything by ear because who knows. Okay I know I'm yapping but I'm gonna do a quick <laughs> Ulta haul. <laughs> I got these Flamingo razor cartridges because um, I'm out and you, you saw the under my hair so we're gonna get rid of that. I actually got that from Target, not Ulta. Let me separate the Ulta stuff from the Target stuff. I also got a pop socket. Um, I actually really like pop sockets, but um, I got one because it'll just be easier to hold my phone and do stuff with it. So yeah, that's why I got this. And then I also got a toothbrush head. This is not for the trip. I'm just gonna bring a regular toothbrush with me. I'm hoping that this does fit on my toothbrush. I'm a little nervous about it because this was not cheap. Moving on to Ulta, I am missing one thing. I got the Impress Lashes, the Sassy Wispy. Look at it, look at it, yep, love these. E, look how pretty, yep, yep, yep. And then I also got these Kiss Lashes. You know, Kiss is probably the superior brand when it comes to lashes, because Kiss gets it. Kiss just knows what they're doing. It's like weird, because now when I look at Ardell and um, some of those other brands, I'm like, what are y'all doing? But Kiss gets it. So these are the new natural um, and this is pearl earring and these are so pretty. They're not too much but they're not too, you know, demure. I think that's the right word. <laughs> and I had to get these. So I've never really used these before. I think I've used like a Korean skincare brand and they didn't really do anything but I've heard really good things about the Mighty Patch um and this one has the ones with the like teeth the micro points i got these just in case i get a pimple while i'm there and at night i'll just do also again for the skin this is not for the hair my hair is gonna be braided so it won't matter but i got a satin pillowcase from kitsch kitsch california is much drier than the east coast so i have to keep that in mind 
so we got it for the skin but also the hair too i guess i guess my edges <laughs> and it even says on here for hair and skin for healthier hair and skin i did get another one of these i just gotta go get them i don't know where they are they weren't in my bag Okay, very quickly, very, very quickly on why my hair is not braided. Last night, I procrastinated. That is long story short. Um, I was twisting. I didn't finish this side until this morning. So, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I built in some time so that I could um, procrastinate if I was going to. So, I'll be braiding, start braiding my hair tonight after the gym because that actually makes more sense now that I think about it. And then... Um, start tonight and finish tomorrow and then it'll be done nails thursday thursday is nails so i'm i'm trying to avoid lifting just in case when i go to the gym that's why my nails are lifting it's either the sweating or it's the spray when you wipe down the stuff so that's all i'm trying to figure out like i want to delay nails as much as possible but i don't want it to be a last minute thing um I also want to be packed by Thursday, so <sighs> yeah, it's definitely crunch time. Okay, it's been like two days since I finished my hair. Um, or since I started braiding my hair. Here are the results. Look how cute. These are pretty small. They're not perfect. My parts are not perfect. But I think it looks really cute. And imagine, you know, all the outfits that I showed you with this purple hair. I I have a few styles that I want to do. Some pigtails. Some half up, half down pigtails. Because I, I really like pigtails. Sorry guys. If that disturbs you but i love it <laughs> definitely a high ponytail half up half down um yesterday i wore my hair in two braided pigtails which was really cute love that look but anyway i think it looks really good i love the size of these just because um when i do them bigger i feel like my hair peeks out a lot more so yeah and because they're knotless they're my version of knotless they're not heavy at all so yeah I'm done swinging it around but I have been talking a lot in this video so um, from here on out I'm probably going to just b-roll it show you guys what I'm doing because all I really have to do is pack and then do my nails yeah the rest of this video is probably gonna be silent or just music over it um, if anything does happen I will pop back on but I doubt anything will happen so if you enjoyed this video Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and hit that thumbs up if you did like this video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, I will start doing two uploads a week again, just I have to get back into the swing of things when I get back. So yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Bye!